and welcome to the Museum of the Red River. My name is Katie Smith and I'm the head of programs here at the museum. Um, we are located in Idabel, Oklahoma, and we are the largest cultural institution within a 150 mile radius. And we usually serve visitors from Oklahoma, Arkansas, Texas, and also people from all over the country. Um, so we first opened to the public in 1975, and our mission is to preserve and celebrate the artistic heritage uh, of people all over the world while also emphasizing the contributions made by Native Americans. Our museum is also home to the uh, Oklahoma State Dinosaur Acrocanthosaurus atokensis um, and here to tell you a little bit more about Acro is our Learning Center Coordinator Hannah McNutt. Hi, like what he said, I'm Hannah McNutt and I'm the Learning Center Coordinator and this is Acrocanthosaurus which means high spine lizard, which gets its name from its high spine. It was from the early to mid Cretaceous period, which is about 125, 110 million years ago. Uh, she is 40 feet long and 20 feet tall. Uh, the skeleton was found about uh, 12 miles from here in Broken Bow in the Mountain Fork River in the early 80s. Um, Along with our Acrocanthosaurus, we are home to 35,000 other artifacts. And to talk more about the other artifacts that we have in our collection is our keeper of collections, Daniel Mick. Hello, our fellow OMA members. Uh, my name is Daniel Mick, and I am the keeper of collections here at the Museum of the Red River. Currently, we're standing in our collections viewing area um, and this was completed as part of our larger renovations um, that were open to the public in, in last year. Um, what this space does is it allows our visitors to get a better feel for the fact that there are many more pieces in storage that are not currently on exhibit. So through the glass is our actual storage facility, um, which is home to the 35,000 objects that Hannah had mentioned. Um, our focus in collecting it has traditionally been on the native arts of the Americas, and this would include collections of southwestern pottery, southeastern basketry, as well as Amazonian featherwork, just to name a few. But over the years, we have um, expanded our focus to a more global one, and so we also have smaller collections of materials from Africa, Asia, and the Pacific Islands as well. So we just like to extend um, a welcome to you all to come and visit us if you get the chance, and if not, we hope to get to see all of you in, at next year's OMA conference in person. <laughs>